Appalachian Wireless has some of the best data rates in wireless on our plans, and not to mention an amazing deal on one of our hottest smartphones. But that's all the time I have to explain. See store for details. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. On the baseball and softball diamonds tonight from Shelby Valley, it was the 15th Region All-A Tournament Championships. The undefeated Pikeville Panthers put their 14-0 record on the line tonight against the 11-1 Shelby Valley Wildcats in the boys' 15th Region All-A Championship. Jacob Beverly on the mound for the Wildcats. Cade Byers at first for the Panthers. He gets one to center field to begin the game. Mikey McDonald on down the line puts a high fly ball into shallow left field. It drops, and the Panthers put their first run up on the board with an RBI from McDonald. Moving to the top of the second inning, the Panthers putting the bat on the ball today. Clay Sloan puts one into center field to start the inning, and then the runs started to pour in after that for the Panthers. Cade Byers playing some small ball, bunt down third baseline. With two runners on, ball gets past Jacob Beverly, and around come the Panthers as they score nine runs in the second inning, going up early 10 to nothing. And that's all they needed as they defeated Shelby Valley 19-4 in the All-A Championship to be crowned champions. The defending 15th Region All-A Champions, the Pikeville Panthers, took on rival Eastridge from Shelby Valley High School in the girls' championship of the All-A Tournament's bottom of the first inning. Runners on first and second. Cameron Sloan drills one to left field and around come the Panthers. Count RBIs for Sloan. No outs here in this inning as they continue to hit the ball. Erica Kahn up next. She steps in and sends it to the fence. And here's another double for the Panthers. Up next, Cassidy Lowe gets her pitch and puts it into left center field. Batting in yet another run. Panthers picking up double after double after double. And the Panthers score all their runs in the first inning, blanking Eastridge 14 to nothing in five innings in the girls' 15th Region All-A Championship to win back-to-back -back titles.